and all kinds of stuff. <laughs> and I love it. <laughs> what? Like I said, I didn't expect you to pull jewelry out of your toiletry bag. I'm glad it fits though. I have to keep it somewhere. Welcome back to our Overlanding 101 series. If you've already subscribed to our channel, thank you very much. One of the topics that we're asked about the most as full-time overlanders is hygiene and cleanliness. So water is the key to hygiene. And as you can see behind me in this white container, right behind Caspian is our Alucab water tank. It holds 13 gallons of fresh water. And the thing about water is the more you have, the longer you can stay off grid, but also the less you use the longer you can stay off grid. To be clear, we often use facilities wherever we're at, whether it's a park or a campground, a laundromat, or for toilet facilities, even at restaurants that we frequent. But our rig is capable of providing for all of our hygiene and sanitary needs, and that's what we're gonna cover in today's video. We'll start with personal hygiene, and then we'll get into laundry and how we keep our home on wheels clean. We want to cover all aspects of hygiene so that you get a really good feel for what daily life on the road is like. Let's start with the items that require some level of personal privacy. For us, that privacy is provided by our Alucab shower cube. All right, setting up our Alucab shower cube is really easy. It doesn't take long. It sits in this little container here. It just unzips. Flip this up. And there's a little cord here that holds it in. At the bottom of the shower cube, we have these straps and you can either stake them down or if it's not too windy, you can just open these up, make it big enough for a little rock to hold it in a place. Sometimes we do a little of each. Just put a little rock in there. That's all you need. Inside the shower cube, you can see that it just provides an open space in here. We can take showers in here, or we can place our toilet in here. It um, provides a measure of privacy. We can even use it as a changing room. Oftentimes, when we are in remote wilderness situations, we just use our shovel. For us, we carry the DMOS Delta Pro shovel, which I really like, by the way. It's a full-size shovel that folds down this compact. But you just dig a hole, do your business, bury the waste, good to go. However, when we are in an area of not so remote wilderness, we'll use our shower cube that we've already mentioned and our thunder box, which is made in Victoria, Australia. And you can find them at Thunderbox USA. And one of the things that I really like about this is that you can see how small it folds down and even more so when I pull it out because we have a lot of extra bags. So it folds down to an inch thick. And this is gonna become a full-size toilet. I'll show you in a moment. So the Thunderbox is really easy to use. Again, folds down really thin, but it's super sturdy. You just open it up like this, take the lid and bring it around. And we're gonna line this with a bag and then just fold it down on top. And our lid closes. So Thunderbox provides these biodegradable bags and they're really easy to install in the Thunderbox. You just tuck them in here, you take them and there's these little edges here. You just put it over, put it over completely and then these slits are going to go on top of this metal. You just fit it into place and then on the underside, which you can't see here, is a little lever that you attach it and it keeps it firm and sturdy. That's it. Toilet is set up and ready to use. When it's time to take a full shower, we still need our toiletries. For us, we each have our own Red Ox toiletry bag where we carry what we need. Brittany's bag is different from mine and we'll show you both. I chose the Red Ox Nomad Shave Kit for my toiletry bag. It has a hanger that you can use a carabiner to put it up. It has basically indestructible zippers with these monkey fists on the end of them. And so it has this zipper pocket here and another zipper pocket here. And then the inside of the bag is just one big hole. I keep all my jewelry in there as well as my toiletries. It holds a ton of stuff and that's why I love it because I have a ton of toiletries. 
For me, I chose the Trifold Shave Kit by Red Ox, and I love this bag. And I think Brittany should have got this one, but she likes hers. I like it because it's got an actual handle here, which is really cool. And check this out. Inside, it's got this side pocket, but on this side, when you open it up, it's got a strap that you can actually just clip onto any like towel bar, or anything that you're holding, and this is where it comes in handy. When you open it up, it opens up and it just hangs down. So you've got three different compartments where you can hold, hold your toiletries, plus you've still got that outside pocket out here. I think it's just a fantastic toiletry bag and uh, highly recommend it. This is a product that is new from Matador. They're out of Boulder, Colorado, and it's a soap container. And I really love it because as your soap gets smaller, you can roll it up and make the container smaller. It just clips right there so that it's leak proof. I think this is a genius product, not sponsored, just love it. And inside, we have our shampoo and conditioner. Now these were recommended by Kelsey at Dirt Sunrise. These are by Lush and this is literally a bar shampoo. Again, as you use it up, it gets smaller and so the footprint in your vehicle will get smaller, which I know you wouldn't think that it's such a big deal, but toiletries really can take up space. I also have a bar conditioner in here too. So that's literally my shampoo and my conditioner. And I can get multiple ones of these to go out of the country and they're really easy to store in separate places and they won't spill and leak. All right, continuing with the shower. So we carry our towels. Yes, this is a big extra large tech towel by Sea to Summit. Not sponsored by them, but we love this product. And basically it all fits in that little container and it's huge. Look at this, look at all this towel goodness. Look at this. It's massive. And they dry really, really quickly. They're really, really soft and dry super quick. We usually just hang them over the, the crossbars on the awning when we're drying them and they dry in moments. And so this is our tech towels. Now that we have all the items we need, let's go take a shower. All right, so like I said, we normally use the facilities wherever we can, but if we need to, we're capable of doing it right here on Dauntless. For us, for taking a shower, this is how we do it. Open the side wing door here, and on the inside, we have our little shower nozzle, which is attached there. There's a water pump underneath that we can turn on using the Red Arc Red Vision app on our phone. And then we just take this shower head, put it over into the shower cube, and we have a private space to take a shower. We don't take showers every day. I'd say we usually shower every four to five days, but we do stay clean in between. And the way that we do it is with wet wipes. And so I am a huge fan of Venture Wipes. And these are, come in little individual pockets and they are 12 by 12 body wipes. And these are awesome for Caspian because he plays in the dirt all day long and I can clean him with one of these. And when we, he's not that dirty, we just have normal wet wipes. Now, as far as comparing the two of them, I'm not sure that I'm gonna be able to get Venture Wipes outside of the United States, and so we'll mostly just be using normal baby wipes that we can get anywhere all over the world. We'll just have to use more of them. Of course, it's super important to take care of your teeth on the road. The last thing you want is to have tooth pain and need to find a dentist wherever you are. So we, um, Eric and I use an electric toothbrush, which I highly recommend. There's no reason not to have an electric toothbrush on the road. We can power it with our electronic system. And Caspian loves his little light up toothbrush. We use our built-in water spigot to get our toothbrushes wet, rinse them off and we're all ready to go into bed. We've covered every aspect of personal hygiene. Now let's talk about doing dishes, laundry, and how we keep our home clean. We'll save that last one for the end because it may surprise you. The way that we do dishes is fairly simple and actually, if you watched our last video on cooking and our camp kitchen, I talk extensively about how I do dishes and the rhythm that I found. So definitely make sure you go check that out. I position myself by our water spigot to do dishes. I haven't always had a spigot when we were overlanding. So I used to just use my jet boil and I would boil water. And I found that especially when it's cold outside, having hot water to do dishes is the way to go because the water goes a lot farther. 
just make sure you're comfortable. You don't want to hurt your back leaning over and make sure that you have a great place to set your clean dishes so that they don't fall in the dirt and get dirty again. Pro tip. Through all our travels, both in the United States and 4,000 miles through Mexico, we've always used laundry mats to do our clothes. We especially love laundry in Mexico because all you have to do is drop it off and they fold it and send it right back to you. However, we are prepared to do laundry at camp when we need to. Recently, a company called Scrubba sent us their product. And while I haven't used it yet, it seems like a really genius product and I've heard really good things. It's basically a washing bag and you basically agitate it yourself and it cleans your clothes. So I'm really looking forward to using that and I'm sure I will because I have a little boy who goes through clothes really quickly. We also have something called a Flexoline Traveler's Clothes Line that we got from Red Ox. And this is also a really cool product because it doesn't require clothes lines. You basically twist your wet clothes into the line and it just dries there hanging up. All right, now for the silliness part. So this is about keeping our home clean. When Brittany told me what she wanted to bring with us around the world to keep our home clean, I honestly almost kind of laughed. But now that we've been doing this so long, as usual, Brittany was 100% right, and she's gonna show you what she brought. Eric is talking about my Dyson vacuum. We live outside, people. There's constantly dirt flying everywhere, and without a vacuum, I would not stay sane. And so this is one of the best investments and uses of space, in my opinion, that we have in our whole rig. Lastly, we need to talk about trash. We all generate it, we all need to pack it out. Treading lightly is really important. For us, we're very careful about how much trash we generate. We're very conscious of that. We use for our trash bag, the Blue Ridge Overland Gear extra large tire bag, which is fantastic. We've held extra fluids in here, like a spare quart of oil. Uh, we've carried firewood in here, but typically we just use it for trash. And back here we have a contractor size, heavy duty trash bag. And we have, you know, a bunch of those in there, but inside here, we actually just use little bags you get at the grocery store. And the reason we do that is that it's really hard to find a place to get rid of a bag this size pretty much anywhere when you're off grid. But we'll typically pull into a gas station or wherever we're at, find a little trash can, and we're able to dump the little trash that we've generated. It makes it really easy to get rid of trash on the road. When we're generating trash, one of the things we're really mindful about is the wildlife in the area that we're in, whether they're scavengers or nocturnal creatures that might be attracted to the scents. If we have anything like that, we try and get rid of it as quickly as possible. But if we have to keep it overnight, then we'll seal it in an airtight container and put it inside our vehicle to make sure that we're not attracting any unwanted guests to our campsite. No matter where we are, hygiene is a really important part of our lives and it doesn't need to be an intimidating topic. We hope that this video has empowered you to envision how you can get out there with cleanliness and good hygiene that you're used to and want to surround yourself with. Thank you so much for tuning in to our Overlanding 101 series. If you have any questions or comments, please drop us a line in the comment section. We would love to hear from you and we'll see you for our next video.